there, my name is Ashton Parfit with the Parish and Community Services Department, and I'm going to be going over the Outreach Priest Supplies. I'm going to share my screen, pull up a quick PowerPoint for us to review together to go over your supplies. So you'll see here we have a full list of supplies that are uh, given to you upon hire and throughout your time as an outreach priest. Uh, UPS pre-printed labels addressed to more RMG, which is our donation processing center, UPS padded packs, UPS small boxes, assignment evaluation forms, expense forms. Um, those are both offered digitally and paper versions. You can request uh, either or or both, totally up to you. You're also going to get note cards, six by nine uh, flat envelopes, stickers that go on the six by nine envelopes uh, called coin labels, which I'll explain a little bit later. You're going to receive intercepted donation packs, about three or four at a time. And lastly, pre-posted manila envelopes and labels to the Pompano office. Uh, so you can return your items to us for processing. So first up are the labels that go to the more processing center. Um, these labels come in packs of 25, 50, or 100, and you're gonna want to bring uh, two or three to each speaking opportunity. They're gonna be pre-filled out for you, so really the only thing you need to add is that source code SC number that um, is given to you from the beginning of your uh, speaking opportunity at, when assigned uh, with the coordinator. And then all the way to the end when you're turning in your paperwork to the office, uh, that, that source code number is going to be on a lot of items. So it's a three-tiered label. The first tier you're going to take off and place on a UPS padded pack or box that has your brochures in it. And um, that gets dropped off at your local UPS store or, or drop-off box. And the second tier is going to be mailed in to the uh, Pompano office for processing with the office team. The third is totally up to you. You can keep it for yourself or discard it. It's not needed by us. <clears throat> US, UPS supplies uh, that are uh, given to you are UPS padded packs or UPS small boxes. You can request uh, one or the other or both, but they're both used to mail in the brochures handed to you after mass uh, from parishioners and sent to the more RMG processing center. It's your preference uh, which one you use, but you're going to want to bring at least two to uh, each speaking opportunity. There are cases where you will need to send in two. For example, if you are speaking at a Spanish mass as well as an English mass, those brochures would need to be separated and mailed in separately uh, to the uh, more RMG processing center. So two padded packs for each of the brochures. Loose cash or uh, change in coin labels. Uh, this is a six by nine manila envelope, um, as well as a, a coin label sticker that goes with it. So if a parishioner hands you a check um, without it being a brochure, if they hand you change, if they hand you cash, um, all of those items uh, would go into the six by nine envelope um, and you would just seal it, fill out that coin label. Again, that has the date, the source code number, and whatever was given to you. So say someone handed you $5, you would write $5 on there. If someone handed you a check for $2,500, you would write that on the label as well. Or if someone handed you uh, 50 cents, you would write that, whatever it is on that label, uh, attach it to the envelope. And that envelope goes inside the UPS padded pack or box and gets mailed in along with uh, the brochures. UPS intercepted donation packs. You're going to want to bring one of these to each of your speaking opportunities as well. Uh, this is uh, an item that is used if the parish um, is giving you an issue with taking the brochures with you. Nine times out of 10, you're not going to have that issue, but there are some cases where um, maybe the, the parish contact for the day has not been aware of um, what happens and she's giving you a hard time. You're not gonna wanna uh, argue with anyone. So this is what you can give to them. It's pre-labeled and pre-adjust to more RMG processing. Um, and it has instructions already stapled on there. So you're just gonna hand it to them and say, no problem, you can mail it uh, to the UPS uh, you, yourself. If this does happen, please contact your OP director and let her know so um, she can follow up or the team can follow up and make sure that it was handled appropriately. So here's your expense form. Um, 
it you're going to fill it out kind of just how it asks again it has that source code number on it the date um and anything that you need to be reimbursed for you're going to submit all of your receipts um and there need to be detailed receipts uh, for example if you're at a restaurant and you order a meal you need the receipt that has what you ate so the food listed any um, fountain drinks or bottles of water um, you would need that detailed receipt as well as long as the tip is included in that it can just be one receipt if the tip is separate you're going to have to mail in both receipts um, if you are getting reimbursed for mileage you need to provide the map with the mileage number matching what, you, what is on this expense form and receipts for the car rental in the hotel if applicable need to be mailed in as well with this even if cross catholic outreach paid for that if they give you a receipt, please turn it in with your expense form. The after opportunity evaluation looks like this, and you're going to fill this out as best as you can. Um, again, it has the source code number, your name, the parish name, and it kind of gives it us some feedback as to how your speaking opportunity went. Um, and we can use this the next time we are going there to see if any changes need to be made. Um, as far as the brochures or the travel time, anything like that. So any feedback you can provide on this form is uh, appreciated. Again, you're going to mail this form or email it in um, to the Pompano office and uh, the office will process it from there. So the brochures used at a speaking opportunity are mailed to the parish about three weeks out from your speaking opportunity. Um, and they're it hasn't been a case in a long time, but if there ever is a case where the brochures don't make it, we do have emergency use brochure. It looks like this. The back of it has a place for you to write in that source code number, and you're going to ask that the parish print these for you to have at the parish. Um, and if they are not able to print them, you're going to contact or try to contact your uh, local print shop and have them printed there. Um, and hopefully that's not the case. This is kind of emergency use only. That two week call that you make to the parish before your speaking opportunity is an excellent chance for you to ask any questions you may have from the parish, but definitely ask if they have received the brochures um, that you'll be using for the speaking opportunity. Because if not, that two week time frame gives the office enough time to reorder the brochures and have them mailed with um, no problem at all. No cards are going to be sent to you, and you can use these as thank you cards or sending a special note to um, a parish or a parishioner or, um, you know, maybe a special contact at the parish that helped you that weekend. Um, so you'll be getting a packet of those as well. And lastly, you're going to be getting pre-addressed and posted um, labels and envelopes to our Pompano address. In here, it's going, you're going to place your expense form and receipts your evaluation form and that th that uh, second tier UPS uh, label to more so we can process all those in, uh, information at the office. This is your surprise. Thank you so much.